All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting on the review table and in front of me, I've got a little box from a company called Votatu. Never heard of them. Uh, they contacted me, asked if I'd uh, be willing to do a little review on this thing. And I said, yeah, I'm trying to get back into the market. I haven't done a whole lot of reviews in a long time. So it's basically like starting over. Just like the very first time I ever did a review when it was with my uh, site, Mark M. Spec. And I, that had to have been like 10 years ago, maybe. I'm not sure. In any case, uh, when I did a little research on this thing and uh, resist the tyranny, I'm going to put the link to his video down below. Please do me a favor. Go check him out. Or subscribe to his channel. Known that guy for a long time. Excellent person. Really cool guy. Uh, doesn't bullshit and he does a great reviews. Uh, matter of fact, I watched the video he did today on the Bear Creek Arsenal uh, Cold Hammer Forge Upper. All right, so back to this thing. Um, Guy sent me one of these, or actually sent two of these models to me. Uh, resembles the, uh, what do you call it, the Hollis Sun. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'll show you. I actually mounted it on this rifle right here, as you can see. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Uh, solid as a brick and built like a tank. Uh, in any case, let's get back to it. So, uh, nothing on the outside of the box. I'm going to make it very simple. This is uh, the green dot. Okay, 30 millimeter Picatinny optic scope, yada yada, green, made in China. Um, this is designed specifically for somebody who's probably starting out, okay, wants to put a dot on their rifle, not ready to put, put the $500 on to a uh, EOTech or anything else like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't like supporting the Chinese, but a lot of times uh, people don't have five or $600 laying around. So that put aside, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Uh, open it up. Very nice box, and you're faced with the uh, um, instruction manual here. All right, RMD 502 user manual. Please read beforehand. You have this. Actually, you can. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna put the link on my campsite uh, for this. It goes over to Amazon, but you got a red or a green. All right, very simple, very easy. Uh, there is no magnification to it. Uh, the MOA adjustment dial doesn't tell you how many, <laughs> doesn't tell you what the movement is. Uh, parallax range, blah, blah, blah. All right. It is waterproof IPX7, shock proof up to 1,000 Gs. Woo wee. Uh, lens coating. I will tell you this the lens is incredibly um, clear. Yes, it is. Oh, and by the way, yeah, one half MOA per click. Uh, windage and elevation, and then it has a range of movement of 45 MOA with a total of 90 MOA range of movement. I like this. Uh, if you're starting out and you want something to go ahead and build on your uh, on your rifle or your shotgun, this is not a bad option. Uh, so it comes with a cleaning cloth, little beads there. You do have a spare two. Uh, what is this? Uh, 2032 battery. Man, I sound just like, uh, what's his name? Joe Biden. What is this? Uh, all right, anyway. And then you have a little combination of a torque wrench slash screwdriver. I like that they put the little screwdriver there because that's how you are going to move your uh, reticle around. All right, so pretty simple, pretty easy. This is how big it is, okay? Um, you have a up and down button here. I do believe the brightness levels on this. There's two night vision and eight daylights. And yes, it is daylight bright. That son of a gun is bright. Let's see if it does have a battery in it. And guys, underneath the lighting that I have right now, let's go ahead and turn it all the way up. I'm going to hopefully you'll be able to see that there. Look at that thing. And it's clear as a bell. It is a 68 MOA ring with a two MOA dot in the middle really, really bright. And then uh, for inside, there's no automatic adjustments. It, I do believe there is an automatic turn off and an automatic on. So it'll turn off and on for you without any problems. But I'll take some detailed photos of this guy. Um, cross section bolts right here for a pick rail. Be careful when you're putting this on, okay? These bolts, the cross bolts here are not staked, so they will fall out. So one of the things Resist the Tyranny did not have on his, as a matter of fact, watch that video, is this little section right here. And I'm going to show this to you. That is a locking lug that goes into, in between here, okay? And what that does is it gives you a more secure uh, 
locking position so it doesn't go back and forth. It doesn't move around on you. So I would add that they go ahead and they have provided some blue Loctite on the screws, cross bolts. The other thing I would suggest if you're going to buy one of these is make sure you check these for, for uh, tightness, okay? Um, I can't remember exactly who it was in the past, but you would buy the optic and the, these bolts underneath would come loose. All right, the battery tray is right here and there's no uh, nothing holding it in. And you just pull that battery out just like that, all right? And then put it right back in and it's, it's, it goes in pretty secure. Uh, is that gonna pop out on you? At this level, I don't know that you're gonna be running and gunning and throwing a gun around as much as maybe I would or somebody else in the, in the world up there shooting professionally. But uh, that's it. Uh, this is an open emitter, which means that the light is being projected from the back here onto the screen. And guys, look, I'm gonna see. Look how clear that is. Incredible very nicely done and the window opening is the perimeter of the glass once you put it on a rifle I shoot with both eyes open and you really don't see a whole lot of this thing as it's going on um, that's basically it and again half MOA adjustments up and left and right up and down let's see if we can hear I'm using a different uh, microphone today well get in there there we go yeah hold on I'll put it on the mic CNC machine, evidently, but all together, man, I just think that uh, this is not a bad option right here. Oh yeah, uh, we had it stopped there for a second, but uh, this thing right here sells for $119.98 on, on Amazon Prime. 62 MOA dot, 2 MOA, uh, yes, it is auto off, auto on. There, uh, 225 seconds, it'll, it'll go off or turn off and then shake awake and it'll turn right back on. So let's do this real quick. We'll see. It's hefty for this for its size. 7.1 ounces. That's that's nice nice chunk of aluminum right there. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, you can buy this in green, red. Uh, if you there is one called a RMD 502R for a 127 that uh, you can have a, either just a dot, a circle, or a circle dot. Um, I'm going to run this thing and see what happens, have, a, have some fun with it. But uh, guys, I'm going to tell you something. For $119, uh, you're, you're not going to go wrong with this one. I mean, especially if you're just in the market, for, put something on your rifle for right now and, and have some fun, and that's it. So with that, guys, uh, please let me know what your thoughts are down below. And we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. There you go. Not a bad little deal, right? Boom. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. And all real quickly, before we end this thing, uh, one-year warranty. So, with that, check this guy out. <laughs> We're going to be making some changes to this guy. 509C Edge. CC Edge. Bang.